I broke through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Jump I back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample-tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic, hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 250. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're going to give you our DVD rundown for the last day of April, mm -hmm. April 30th. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's done. We're done. We're done. April is over. It's, it's, it's gone. It, was it happened. Good. And it's no longer here anymore. I enjoyed it. It was yeah. good. You know, I'll reflect on it greatly. Yes. You know, yes. The time, but yes. Uh, it will be a, a hold a special place in my heart. But nevertheless, we still have a DV rundown. Yes. Got to do. Mm -hmm. Got to do it. Uh, kind of an interesting week. A lot of stuff coming out from the end of last year and the start of this year. Uh, we're going to start with the big noteworthy one of the yes. week, and that is Silver Linings Playbook. Mm -hmm. We're talking, you know, the David O. Russell one. Yeah. Had several nominations. Bradley Cooper and... Uh, Jennifer Lawrence, Lawrence yeah. Robert De Niro, mm -hmm. and Jackie Weaver, all nominated for acting. Yeah, it's at, uh, eight Academy Award nominations. It became the first to earn nods in all four acting categories since Reds and the first big five, which is Best Picture, Best Actor, Best mm -hmm. Actress, Best Director, and Best Writing nominee since Million Dollar Baby. Oh, very good. Yeah. Uh, and sadly, only Jennifer Lawrence won, but you know, what are but you But still, do? you know, they still, that'll be a thing that when we bring this movie up later in a DVD, I mean, in a segment, we'll be like, this thing was nominated for like eight awards. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, nevertheless, you know, you got a uh, pretty solid little pack. You got the Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy, and ultraviolet all together, which we like around here. Yeah. We are all on board with that. Uh, additionally, you got some stuff that's DVD only, and then there's some additional special features on the Blu-ray. So, for Correct. instance, um, the DVD has deleted scenes, about 26 minutes of which. Wow. And supposedly, there are actually some pretty good ones in there, so that's cool. Uh, additionally, there is uh, the film that became a movement, uh, featurette discussing you know interviews with the cast and crew members about you know how this all came to yeah. fruition. Uh, in terms of the Blu-ray, though, the additional special features include Q&A highlights from several different um, Q and A's featuring David o. Russell, De Niro, Cooper, Lawrence. Nice. Um, and additionally, there's a learn to dance like Pat and Tiffany featurette. Oh, well. Yeah. So well, how nice of them to include that for us. Well, for a film like this, you know, it kind of seems appropriate. You know, <laughs> I, know. I, I kind of I kind of pre appreciate those sort of like um, kitschy type featurettes when they fit within the yeah. vibe of the story. Exactly, or the tone of the film. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, that, that that's pretty cool. And then there's a few other smaller featurettes, but, you know, it's a, it's a modest release, no no commentary track, sadly. Yeah. But, uh, you know, nevertheless, it's 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 fun. It's a good movie. Uh, all the different platforms. It seems like a pretty, pretty, pretty easy. Solid. Yeah, solid choice. Mm -hmm. Moving right along, though, we're going to go to one from this year, and we're talking right. Broken City. This is the Mark Wahlberg, Russell Crowe film, yes. directed by Alan Hughes. Um, you know, this film, I mean, didn't really make much of an impact no, it did when not. it arrived. You can read, I believe, Ben Mason reviewed it on the mm. website, um, so you can read his full review. But, you know, I like a lot of the players involved. I mean, it's got other people like Catherine Zeta-Jones involved yeah. as well, so, you know, she we've talked about her before. We're big fans of her. Exactly. So, you know, it's kind of sad to see that, but it's not usually a good sign when something's released in January. Yeah, and it, I think it what did, I think if I remember looking, it, only, it had like a $20 million budget and only made like 10 yeah, it did not it did not light the screens on fire, so to speak. Nope. But you know, the release is kind of decent. You know, it has a Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy all in one. It saves you that trouble. Yes. In terms of the special features, there's some again DVD and some Blu-ray. Uh, in terms of the DVD ones, there's one about the blacklist script, which is cool because you know the blacklist. For those who don't know, is a famed. Um, list of scripts, unpro so far unproduced scripts, Correct. which are considered to be the best circulating Hollywood. So to, the fact that this was on there yeah. makes you curious. I mean, I mean, I, Cop Out was on there too, so obviously stuff happens yeah. between A and exactly. C or whatever, <laughs> yeah. A and B. A and Z. But uh, nevertheless, you know, I still think it's interesting to discuss you know, something being put on there. Uh, there's also an anatomy of a thriller featurette, which I think is something that's great. I really, I really think thrillers have a very interesting sort of structure and how you sort of pace it out, how you create twists and stuff like that. So and I just would like to see any kind of uh, featurette about filmmakers kind of discussing totally. their film within a setting or genre totally. like that. It's interesting to see how they interpret it and direct, you know, connect the two. Yeah. In terms of the Blu-ray, you've got, you know, an alternate ending, which I always like. Usually they're complete 
bunk and not really <laughs> worthwhile, but yes, that's usually they're, true. Usually they're not used for a reason. Exactly. Occasionally, Same with a lot of cutscenes as well. Occasionally, it's worthwhile. Uh, there are some uh, deleted extended scenes. Um, no, a few other little featurettes, but Nothing. like cast profiles and stuff like that. But no commentary tracks or any major featurettes. It's kind of a yes. bare bones release mostly, but you kind know. of understandable for the reception yeah, the film totally. They're not. Yeah. I mean, why invest more money in exactly the fact that's that they even had this much stuff involved in the first place is pretty impressive, considering yep. the lackluster reception. Yep. One of the more curious ones. Uh, for me at least, was a film that came out at the very end of last year, and that was Not Fade Away. This yes. is directed by David Chase, who you may or may not know, but he gained notoriety mm -hmm. as being the creator of The Sopranos. That's right. And so what he is now doing, directing a little film about a... Like, like what's a, a suburban band in the yeah, 60s, a, a I think? Yeah, a suburban teen band yeah. in the 60s. It seems like a very big departure, yeah. which is kind of actually cool, if you ask me. Yes, I um, agree. You know, again, you know, we've got the Blu-ray, digital copy, ultraviolet, no DVD, but, you know, it's pretty decent. Yeah, ever not bad. The special features are kind of interesting. You've got a... Uh, sort of more extensive making of feature. You know, there's uh, one part which is about the cast and crew discussing the origins, David Chase's love of music, the characters in the cast. Yeah, speaking of his love of music, I guess usually films only have like a 1 or 2% comparative their budget of what they spend on their film, and this one had like a 10% ratio because That's he cared good. so much about putting specific music in the film. That's great. Uh, there's a feature out about leave it, living in the 60s, exploring the film's timetable and the influence of the period, uh, taking a look at the music for the film and then there's hard art which offers a detailed look at the technical process of shooting while also looking further at the story so you know that's i think that's about you know 40 minutes worth of that's special features right there you've got a few deleted scenes and uh a feature a short feature right about building the band putting yes. those people together which is kind of interesting has a uh, boardwalk empire's uh jack huston in it which is not surprising considering i forget his name right now creator of boardwalk empire used to work on sopranos oh interesting yep uh, it also has James Gandolfini. Probably not a also huge shock. Soprano. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not a huge shock on that one, but you know, nevertheless. Yes. I mean, again, this is another one of those little ones that never really shook yeah. the market, but I, I, it's it's nice to see it get a, at least a more interesting sort exactly. of release, yeah. and maybe it'll have a second life in home video. Possibly. Possibly. The final one we're going to talk <laughs> about is a an appropriate one considering Mother's Day is coming up. Yes, it's and true. we're talking The Guilt Trip. Yes. This is the comedy starring Seth Rogen and Barbara Streisand. It, it was <laughs> I actually know, I a remarkably film. I, I went and saw this with my mom. Look at this and, guy. Uh, yeah, she was, she was all into that whole like mother-son film about a mother and this son. This is why my mother lives two states away. Yeah, well... It is what it is. <laughs> um, nevertheless, I saw, and it was better I than I mom. expected. <laughs> I was better than I expected. I, you know, I, I wasn't sure about Barbara Streisand, but she's clearly shown, you know, over the years that she can act. Yes. And Seth Rogen, uh, it's kind of a more restraint. He's almost the straight man mm -hmm. in the movie. I mean, he is sort of the straight character while his mom is sort of the crazy, the zany, yeah. wacky one, which is kind of nice. I like I like a more restrained Seth Rogen, too. I, I think it's interesting that the Paramount Marketing Department was so certain of Barbara Streisand that uh, when, uh, gaining a Golden Globe nomination for her performance for this film that not only did they put out an ad congratulating her on her victory, but posted Whoa. it online moments before the nominations were even announced, only to be swiftly pulled when she she ended up not getting the nod. Yeah, I don't know why they would have thought she would be nominated for this. Like, I, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would, but I'm I not mean, like. It's I can understand being like a marketing department wanting to jump on that. Sure, but, but wait till it's like have your template and then wait and then but write the name even in and still, hit send. Like, I don't know? I don't know why they would. Yeah, like it's 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 better than you think, but it's it's <laughs> nowhere near exactly. like award exactly. caliber. Exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> But the relation you know, was pretty decent. You got the Blu-ray, the DVD, the digital combo. Pretty good week across yeah. the board for stuff like that. Um, strangely, the DVD has no special features apparently. Which <laughs> is kind of a shame. But I'm surprised the they don't have the failed ads. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe, maybe they do. That'd be pretty awesome. I don't know. Uh, the the 
Blu-ray has a whole bunch of stuff. There's a feature out about Barbara Streisand and Seth Rogen. Uh, there's one about a real mother of a road trip, discussing the road trip aspect of it. You know, there's one discussing how it's not really a road trip movie, despite actually having another feature out about the road trip movie. <laughs> I digress. Uh, there's an alternate opening and ending, wow. which is kind of interesting. Wow. And, and middle. <laughs> yeah. Surprisingly, yeah, exactly. The hour and a half in the middle was already done. Um, there's a gag reel and deleted scenes. Yeah. Who could have imagined uh, that? A little comedy, yeah. love shocking. But you know, uh, there's a few, apparently, a few special um, releases. Apparently, if you get it at Target, it comes wrapped with an exclusive card, including an audio greeting from Barbara Streisand. And Walmart has a DVD copy with a voodoo digital copy. So if you're really looking for your alternate <laughs> formats, you can get them out there. Or if you know your mom's really into Barbara Streisand and you're really cheap, just buy this and at Target and dude, give her the voice greeting. Dude, that's not that's not even like jokey. That's like actually a good strategy. I'm not even kidding. I bet I bet moms across America would be totally down with that. You're welcome, mothers yeah. across America. Thank Greg for that. <laughs> Anyway, that brings us to the end of this episode. Yes. Join us next time as we discuss Gwyneth Paltrow in honor of Iron Man 3. 3D! Woo! And as always, we're at MacGuffinPodcast.com, Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast, phone number 323-761-9842. We're on iTunes, we're on Blip.tv, Miro, Roku. Checking to get glue, get some stickers. Leave some reviews on iTunes, give us some stars, and thumb us on the YouTubes. Yeah, leave comments there too. We yeah. like to interact with y'all. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next time. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.